G'day, this video will show you how to create a forward movement program for the robot. In this tutorial the focus will be on the coding process. When working in Arduino mode there are four sets of commands. Control, which is yellow, they help in managing the operations of the robot. Operators, in green, they are used to work with control scripts to set specific values, inputs, readings, etc. Robots, in blue, are used to coordinate the functions of the individual components of the robot. Data and blocks, in orange, are used to create customised scripts as required. Start by dragging the Megapi program script from the robotic scripts. This command controls the start of the robot operation. For safety and ease of use, allow time before initiating the operation. From the control list, drag the wait script. Here the time is adjusted to three seconds. Now for the operation of the robot. From the robot list, we can use the run forward script, which will control both drive motors at the same time. Then set the speed. We chose an arbitrary 50. If anyone knows what these numbers relate to, please put an answer in the comments section. At this stage, we are ready to upload to Arduino and test. We are interested in controlling each individual motor, so we've identified an alternate method. We drag the set encoder motor speed script twice. In the set encoder motor speed script, choose the appropriate port number from the robot controller. In this case, port 1 for the first motor and port 2 for the second motor. The motors are arranged opposite to each other, equal in magnitude, opposite in direction. So, to get them to go forward, one of the motor speed values will be set as a negative value and the other as a positive. For safety, the speed of the encoder motors has been reduced to 100. The robot will now move forward continuously. So to stop it, go to the control list, drag in the wait script. The time has been set for 5 seconds, which means the script will run for 5 seconds. Now we want the robot to stop. This is done by dragging the set encoder motor speed scripts and set both values to zero. To save time, right click and then select duplicate, then set the speed values. The program is now ready to be uploaded. Do that by clicking the upload to Arduino button. After the upload is complete, make sure the USB cable is demounted from the robot before turning it on. Once you've turned it on, the robot should now move for 5 seconds. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll look at controlling the boom. A word of caution. We would like to mention a problem we had when programming. We observed a glitch in the movement of the robot. The robot moved, stopped, moves again, and keeps repeating the operation continuously. We were unsure if this was a programming or mechanical problem. Eventually, we worked out the problem was created due to weak batteries, and replacing them with fresh ones solved the issue.